Friedel Crafts alkylation of M xylene. The Friedel Crafts reaction is used to prepare alkyl benzenes through carbon to carbon bond formation. Alkylation of benzene involves an electrophilic aromatic substitution mechanism and requires a strong Lewis acid, such as aluminum chloride or ferric chloride, as a catalyst. In this experiment, M xylene will react with tert butyl chloride in the presence of ferric chloride. To a clean, dry test tube, add M xylene and tert butyl chloride. Clamp this test tube to a ring stand. Insert a pasture pipette into the thermometer adapter. Obtain a large test tube and place a piece of litmus paper inside, followed by a wad of cotton. The moist cotton will trap the HCl gas produced in the reaction as indicated by the litmus paper. Cool the reaction in an ice bath. When everything else is ready to go, quickly weigh out the iron 3 chloride and add it to the reaction tube. Seal the system with the thermometer adapter and place the large test tube on top. The reaction will begin to bubble vigorously after a short induction period as HCl gas is evolved. Record the times for induction and reaction. Allow the reaction to proceed until the rate of bubbling slows or 30 minutes from the time that vigorous bubbling began. Remove the ice bath and allow the reaction to warm to room temperature. As the reaction is warming, prepare a microfiltration pipette. Push a small piece of cotton down a pasture pipette to where the pipette starts to narrow. Fill the pipette one third full of silica gel. Use a pipette to carefully transfer the reaction mixture to the filtering pipette containing the silica gel. The reaction mixture will flow through the pipette while the iron materials will be removed. This will simplify extraction. Use air pressure from a pipette bulb to force all of the liquid through the pipette into the conical vial. Use a small amount of M xylene to rinse the filtration apparatus and collect as much product as possible. This filtered liquid should be fairly clear and colorless. Perform an extraction of the residual HCl by adding water. After mixing, remove the lower aqueous layer. Wash the organic layer with a saturated sodium bicarbonate, then wash again with brine. Dry over a minimal amount of drying agent.
Remove the drying agent and transfer the product to a clean dry test tube or centrifuge tube. Add a boiling chip in preparation for solvent removal. Heat the test tube in a sand bath to remove the M xylene. Heat the mixture until the temperature of the vapors is above the boiling point of M xylene, or over half of the liquid has evaporated. Excess M xylene remaining in the product will interfere with correct interpretation of the IR, so it's important that the product is concentrated. Prepare a GC sample by adding two drops of your sample to a GC vial. Add ethyl acetate until the vial is halfway full. Use the GC data to determine if there is less than 15% of the M xylene remaining, if your mixture has not been concentrated enough. Once your mixture contains less than 15% of M xylene, obtain an IR spectrum of your product. Compare the stretches to those given in the experiment introduction to determine the substitution pattern of the benzene ring. For more information on this lab, check out the Wenzel Labs tutorial link below. Special thanks to them for such informative help. For additional help with the GC, check out our detailed video linked below. As always, thanks for watching. See you next week.